I mean, it's a very critical time in this city, without a doubt. Um, just, just to give you an, an example or, or an idea of where we're at, uh, prior to June 1st, we had about 160 patients across our hospital systems that were infected with COVID, and, and now we're at about 500 patients uh, throughout our hospital systems that are infected with COVID. And even yesterday, we had 6,000 new cases uh, in Texas uh, of, of COVID. So there's definitely a, a high degree of concern amongst everybody here at the hospital, in our hospital system, and, and all throughout the city. What are you seeing in terms of the ages of people being hospitalized and those being admitted to the ICU? Because we're hearing a lot that it is younger people contracting the disease and, and those are the new cases. But if so, then, then why are they being hospitalized and, and why are they being admitted to the ICU? We did not see those young ages when we went through this here in New York. Yeah, no, that's definitely that's definitely a paradigm shift that we're seeing a little bit more uh, than we were seeing before. Uh, there are a larger percentage of, of younger patients uh, that are coming into the hospital compared to before. Uh, the good thing is, is that usually they don't end up staying in the hospital for as long as some of the older patients. Uh, but that definitely is something new that we are seeing uh, compared to before is that slightly larger percentage of patients uh, of the younger population. What's your capacity at this point? Can the hospitals handle the surge? Yeah, and, and that's a great question. I think there's been a lot of misinformation about that, uh, but I just wanted to give you a better understanding uh, of where we're at in that specifically. Um, right now, the, the Texas Medical Center, uh, we have 1,330 beds that are available normally. Our normal capacity is 1,330, and yes, those beds are, are pretty much full at this point in time. However, uh, we have prepared for uh, a surge capacity as well. And that's about 373 additional beds uh, as that surge capacity. If those fill up, there are about 500 additional beds beyond that potentially uh, that we, we could utilize as well. So right now uh, we have extra beds to, to care for some of those people using our surge capacity. But if the rates continue as they are right now, if the, if the rates continue to the degree that they are right now, two weeks from now could be a very, very different story. Tell us about some of the treatments that you are using. Do you have access to remdesivir? And if so, do you have to ration it? Yeah, so, so we're definitely using a remdesivir for sure in, in a lot of the uh, in a lot of the ICU patients, especially. There have been some new trials uh, that have come out from the UK about dexamethasone, about some steroids as well that can be used, such as dexamethasone, uh, that we are looking into uh, in addition. But at the end of the day, there's still no vaccine for this, so we still need to do everything that we can uh, to ward off people coming into the hospitals, and, and, and it's all about all those preventative measures. That, that we've been saying for a long time that, that I think Houston really needs to make sure that we follow and do all of those things. Otherwise, two weeks from now, we're going to be in a very, very difficult situation, even worse than now that we may not be able to come back from. But right now, we can handle it, but we just hope it doesn't get even worse than it is right now. Governor Abbott did roll back some of the reopening plans today, including shutting down bars and rafting. Is that enough from your perspective, or, or does he need to close more. Yeah, I mean, I think that was definitely a needed step. Uh, without a doubt, we may end up needing more than that. I mean, here in the city of Houston, uh, Judge Lena Hidalgo ha has issued a stay at home advisory uh, for, for all residents of Houston. And, and I think at the end of the day, we, we all know uh, what to do for this virus. There's no mystery as to how to, to flatten the curve and bring down the curve. We know that what works and what doesn't. We know that we just need to stay at home and, and avoid contact with all those uh, extraneous people or going out to different places. It, we know what to do, and I think we may end up needing more than that, but we'll, we'll kind of see how it goes. Uh, but for right now, that was definitely a needed and a good step.